The next type of factoring we're dealing with here is called factoring the differences of cubes. So we, here we have three, um, I'm sorry, two terms, a cubed minus b cubed. So obviously a is cubed, b is cubed, and they're subtracted from one another. So that's what's called differences of cubes. And the factored form of that is something you simply have to memorize. The factored form is simply a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. You say, well, how do you know that? Well, somebody, before we came around, figured that out, and we just have the benefit of knowing how to do that now. You say, well, how do I know that's correct? Well, let's multiply everything out, and we should get back what we started with, just to make sure. So we're going to multiply the a times the a squared, the a times this, and the a times that, and what do we get? So this is equal to a cubed, plus a square b plus a b square. So simply a times a squared, a times a b, and a times b squared. Then we take the second term and multiply it times each of the terms in the second trinomial. So minus b times a squared, that's minus a squared b. Minus b times a b is minus a b squared. And minus b times a minus, a plus b squared is a minus b cubed. Then when we combine like terms, we realize we have a plus a squared b and a minus a squared b, so that cancels out. We have a plus a b squared and a minus a b squared, so that cancels out. And sure enough, we're left simply with a cubed minus b squared. Oh, not b squared, but b cubed. There we go. All right, so I've just shown you that this is indeed the factored form of this. So in order to factor the difference of cubes, you simply have to say, I take each of these two terms, write them here with a negative sign, then I write the first term squared, the product of the two terms, and then the last term squared. And that's the factored form of a cubed minus b cubed. So let's now do a few examples where things are a little bit different and we have to recognize that it's in this form and that's the answer to your problem. So how about x squared minus 27? All right, well, no, that's not going to work because I have a square there. I like my squares today. Uh, let's make it x cubed minus 27. So the first thing you need to realize is, is that indeed the difference of cubes? And at first form, at first look, you say, oh, I don't think so. I see a single number there. I do see an x cubed there. But then you realize, wait a minute, 27, isn't that the cube of 3? So you can rewrite this as the x quantity cubed minus three quantity cubed. Ah, once you write it like this, now you realize that is the difference of cubes. And so just as before, if I have a cubed minus b cubed, that can be written as a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. We're going to do the exact same thing to this problem right here. So we take the first term minus the second term. So this is x minus three times the first term squared, which is x squared, plus the first term times the second term, so plus 3 times x, and plus the second term squared, so plus 3 squared, which is 9. And that's the factored form of our original problem. Okay, you say, wow, I didn't quite get that. So let's do a few more examples. I have a few more written down here. How about this one? How about x cubed minus 1? Well, here you say, well, that doesn't look like the difference of cubes until you realize, well, wait a minute, 1 is really can be written as 1 cubed. So this can be written as the first term cubed minus 1 cubed, because 1 cubed is still 1. Now you see it as a difference of cubes, so you apply the same rule as you did over here. This is equal to the first term minus the second term times the first term squared, plus the first term times the second term, which is 1x, or simply x, plus the second term squared, and 1 squared is simply 1. And so there's the factored form of that problem. All right, let's do another one. How about this one? 27x cubed minus 64. Again, to realize that this is the difference of cubes, you have to realize that 27 is 3 cubed and 64 is 4 cubed. 
So this can be written as 3x quantity cubed minus 4 cubed. And just like we did over here, you say the factored form of that is the first minus the second, so 3x minus 4, multiply times the first squared, so we'll write it like this, plus the product of the first times the second, plus the second squared. And now simplifying that by multiplying everything out, we get 3x minus 4 times 9x squared plus 12x plus 16. And that's the factored form of our original problem. Okay, now I think you're getting the hang of it. So let's do a couple more just to get everything down solid. Okay, what if you have something like this? x to the sixth minus 1. Now you say, well, that's definitely not the difference of cubes, but again, you can write it like that. You can write it in a way where it does look like the difference of cubes. What if you write this as x squared quantity cubed minus 1 cubed? And again, you realize that x squared cubed is x to the sixth, and 1 cubed is same as 1, so there again, that's the difference of cubes. So then you say, all right, this is equal to the first x squared minus the second. Multiply times the first one squared. So I'll write x squared quantity squared plus the product of the two, which is 1 times x squared, plus the last one squared, which is 1 squared, like so. Then simplifying things, this is equal to x squared minus 1 times x to the fourth plus x squared plus 1. And I say, you're done. Well, not quite, because look at this first binomial. That's the difference of squares. And so you can also factor this as x plus 1 times x minus 1 times what you have left, which is x to the fourth plus x squared plus 1. So that's the factored form of x to the sixth minus 1.